Hello educators and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina, the technology teacher. So last week we touched on how to create assessments using Microsoft Word. However, there are other ways that we can create assessments. This week we're going to look at creating assessments using Google Forms. So without further ado, let's move on over to our screen to see what's going on. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to pull up a web browser, a Google web browser, because it's Google Forms we're using. So you definitely need your Google account and you can type in Google Forms and your homepage will come on. So you can go directly to go to Google Forms, right? And from there, we'll create a blank form. So obviously you would want to put a title for it, just like just like any word document, you put a, a nice title. So social studies term test. And yeah, take off that part there. You can put a small description. This test will go towards your end of term marks something so you can bold italics underline you can even insert a link so the first thing that you want to do is you want to the first question that you want to put is to put write or type your name here because obviously you if it's a test you want to know what's the student's name so it's a short answer text so it's already automatically on short answer so you have different options you can use like paragraph multiple choice and so on so let's get into all of those things there and also to ensure that your students have completed all of the questions you're going to just slide this across like this to make sure that it's a required question so they have to answer it otherwise they won't be able to submit the test okay so to move on to another question you click duplicate and we can change the question now to um, select which of the following is not and remember when you're using negatives like this in a test you want to make sure that it's highlighted so as to not confuse the students so which of the following is not one of our national birds okay and we're going to switch over to multiple choice so we can add an option so let's say um scarlet ibis and we add, a, add another option the cocrico and the next option is hummingbird right and you can even add pictures of each one of those um each one of those birds if you have it stored on your computer so you can add pictures as well okay so that's how the multiple choice works now that's only if you want the students to select one answer if you want the students to select more than one answer right you can add another option so let's let's try a different question now um which of the following persons was a past prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago and we switching over instead of multiple choice we're going for check boxes so you can change these answers to um, uh, Dr. Keith Rowley um, you can say uh, Miss Paula May Weeks or uh, Mr. Basdale Pandey. 
right so you can do a checkbox um in case they want to do more so um mr patrick manning right you can also you can so you can select more than one in this case the students can select more than one option and again you can put pictures in it right so if you want to do that you can also do paragraph style questions in which students will have an opportunity to use a longer sentence um well more sentences to form a whole paragraph so you can ask a question like what are some ways that or some things that you can do at home to live a healthier lifestyle right and you change it instead of check boxes you change it to paragraph so they will be able to write long answers and lengthier answers okay so that's an option as well where there's also the drop down boxes different styles of um, multiple choice and so on so once you are satisfied with your test you can click send and you will be able to send to like email addresses or so on and include form you of course you want to include the form in the email when you send it or you can go to the link icon right here and you can copy and paste the link if you want a shorter url you can get it like this shorten the url and still copy and paste and you can paste it onto like your whatsapp or your google classroom or something like that okay so to be able to analyze your data now once the students have answered all the questions on the form and they submitted their form let's open up a form that i used previously here so we're going to open up this comprehension graphic here so I created this previously for one of my classes and these were some of the questions that I did and 15 students responded so you see that number 15 there that tells you how many responses you got so I won't reveal those students names however um, you can explore the questions by um, individual so you can correct them individually right so the first question asks what is the main purpose of the poster and the student put the answer uh, they asked they were asked to state two ways you can take care of yourself and they put the answer so you can and of course you want to put your mark scheme like how I put here right so you always put your mark scheme after your answer um, after a question sorry so that students are able to know so it's just like if you're creating it on um, on a word document right so once you're satisfied with that you can go ahead and feel free to send it to your students so I hope this video was useful to you today and if you like this video you can give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button and if you want to get regular updates on when we release our videos you can hit the subscribe button and when you've subscribed to the channel you can hit the bell icon don't forget to share with your friends fellow teachers and colleagues so until next time take care